the summer and fall camp if we're going to be the kind of team we're capable of. So, Don? How would you rate the quarterbacks today not named A.J. McCarron? Uh, you know, I, I would say that they all need to improve. You know, Alex probably played um, as well as any of them. You know, Blake has had a really good spring and made really good progress. If you look at the spring as a whole, um, sort of went a little bit rat trap out there today. Um, you know, avoided his reads early, started scrambling, you know, didn't do things like he's really improved uh, in scrimmages as well as through the spring. Uh, I saw, thought some of the young guys were a little bit antsy and had trouble managing the game, getting in the right formation, getting the call, which, you know, can be expected, but uh, we certainly need for those guys to develop as well. Christian Jones obviously at the end had a pretty big pass at the catch at the end and played a little bit on both sides. Is it kind of standing on he's still on both sides of the ball at the moment going into the summer? Well, I've answered this question numerous times before, and the answer is not going to change. You know, Christian Jones has done a really good job on both sides of the ball. The object of what we did this spring is so that if we need a guy to play corner in the ball, he can play it. He'll know how to do it. All right, so we don't need to make that decision right now. And we're not going to make it. We don't need to make it. We're going to see if we can develop, you know, the players that we have uh, so that he can be an explosive player on offense, which he is, which we'd like for him to do. I would like not to go into the season thinking that he's got to worry about preparing himself to play on both sides of the ball. Uh, but it will be nice to know that he knows how to play corner and he learned how to play corner this spring. So if we needed him to play it, he could play it. Uh, but we're going to have to continue to get the young players that we have at that position, those coming in and those that are here, uh, to continue to develop at that position. Eric? Coach, the new guys on the offensive line, Ryan Kelly and Austin Shepard, just wonder what you thought of the offensive line today. Well, the offensive line has done a really good job all spring. I think Anthony Steen and Cyrus Cornjo have done a really good job from a leadership standpoint. Uh, Ryan Kelly has played well all spring long. Uh, he got a lot of experience last year, which I think was helpful to him. Uh, RE had a really good spring. Austin Shepard had a good spring. Uh, Leon Brown is a guy that has ability that can give a step. So can Kellen Williams. Uh, those guys are still in competition for positions, and uh, rightfully so, based on what they've been able to do. So uh, we need to continue to try to develop more players at that position and please the progress that you know that group has made. Coach, you say there's too many guys that are too comfortable with their positions. You would think with a program like this and the amount of competition there is on the field, it would be the exact opposite. What's kind of fostering that right now? I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't ask, understand the question. You said that you think that there were too many too many players that are too comfortable with their positions right now. You would think with a program like this, with the amount of competition that exists on the field between between positions, that it would be the exact opposite. You misinterpreted what I said. I didn't say they were comfortable with their positions. I said they're too comfortable. Period. All right, that means they're too comfortable with their circumstances. All right. So, you know, I'm interested in what's the vision of the team? What's the purpose of the team? What do we want to accomplish? How do people commit to it? What are you willing to do to earn it? All right. I didn't say comfortable with their position uh, because I think our players know that if they don't perform very well, uh, if somebody else will replace them when we can with somebody who can perform better. Uh, we don't have any problems on that. I believe in our players. I trust in our players. Uh, I'm just talking about the overall attitude of a comfort zone because of the success we've had in the past, not doing the things to earn what we need to do in the future. All right, so we need to determine what we're going to do in the future. What, what is this team going to be all about? And forget about all that other stuff because it's history. Two more. Coach, was, did you have any questions going into today that were answered today? Questions? Well, you know, I always have a question about the biggest thing that I was concerned about is how would the team go out there, what, what would be their energy, their enthusiasm, and their attention to detail? So mental intensity. Uh, and. I don't think that there were enough guys that answered that question in a positive way to my life. All right, but I'm, I'm never satisfied. Okay, like I just spoke to a bunch of different alumni groups today. 
Uh, and they all want me to make a comparison between this team and last year's team and the team before that, the team before that, the team before that. And, you know, I wasn't happy with any of those teams at this point. I mean, if I was happy with them, we wouldn't have summer conditioning. We would not have fall camp. We wouldn't have 30 practices to get ready for, you know, our first game against Virginia Tech. We'd just pack it in and say, all right, let's go to Atlanta and play the game. We're not there yet. All right, that's why we have all these practices. That's how, why we have all the work we need to do. So I'm not disappointed where we are right now. I don't want anybody to think that. All right, but I'm not satisfied where we are either. But we have a high standard of what we want to do. And we need to realize that every team that we play is going to bring their A game. And that that game is circled on their calendar as to what they want to do when they come play out of them. That makes sense? Last one in the middle. <coughs> Coach, we'll go to the secondary. They had, I think, five interceptions today. Is that something that you've been impressed with uh, their forwards uh, this spring? And how will they play today as well? Well, you know, they made some interceptions today, so that's good. But, you know, we got a lot of, a lot of improvement to do back there in terms of just consistency and performance, tackling, not giving up big plays. I was pleased with the fact that we did make some big plays today in the secondary. Uh, I do think we have. You know, some players that have some experience that are playmaker types. Um, so, you know, but um, we, we, we have a lot of work to do in terms of our entire defensive team when it comes to overall pass defense. We talk about pass rush, talk about discipline and coverage, breaking on the ball. Um, you know, and I, I thought it was a lot better today, which is a good sign. Um, but that's something that we've worked hard on all spring long. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.